Hey, if you're looking to add a little bit more privacy to your backyard, let me walk you through with how I added this double row of emerald green arborvitaes. To start, I wanted to make sure that the area was properly prepped for the trees. I recently had three small cherry trees removed here, and so the ground was very bumpy and full of leftover mulch from the ground up stumps. To smooth the area out, I used my cultivator attachment to till it, and then followed that up by raking out as much of the mulch as I could. This Groundskeeper 2 rake worked great at separating the mulch from the dirt. You may not need to do this step, but it really helped me even this area out. Once the ground was prepped, I had to mark out where I wanted the trees to go. Emerald green arborvitaes will grow to be about 15 feet tall and 4 feet wide when fully mature. So if you're looking to make a privacy hedge with them, you'll want to space them at least 3 to 4 feet apart so that they fill in nicely but don't compete with each other while they're growing. They also grow about a foot each year, so you'll want to keep that in mind when budgeting for a tree-lined fence, as larger trees are significantly more expensive. For this privacy fence, I started by measuring 3 feet away from the current fence and setting up a string line to mark my first row. To fill in this area even faster, I decided to go with a second offset row that I separated 3 feet away from the first. The first time through I had spaced each tree 5 feet apart, but after stepping back and looking at the layout I decided that ultimately I wanted them to be closer together. So the next day I came out and spaced my markers 4 feet apart with 7 trees in the back row and 6 in the front. The best time to plant these trees would be in the fall to lessen the risk of them dying in the summer heat. As you can see here, since it's the middle of the summer, this sandy soil is extremely dry and has turned hydrophobic, which just means that it wants to repel water. So I watered the area the night before my trees were delivered to help establish some moisture in the soil before planting them. The trees I purchased were 6-7 to seven footers and all came bald and burlapped. To prep them to be planted, I made sure to remove the burlap first to inspect the root balls. I would highly suggest you do this as well since you'll need to have enough root exposed for them to be able to grow freely in the new soil. Unfortunately for me, these root balls were very compacted with dry clay soil and in need of some serious water. While arborvitaes are often grown in clay soil because it can retain moisture really well, it can also create issues if not properly watered or given proper drainage. So before planting these trees, I had to spray off a layer of the hard clay to expose some of the bound up roots. This was a messy process, but it was definitely worth it. You'll just want to be careful not to damage any of the roots when you go to plant them. Once I was ready to plant the trees, I made sure to dig a hole about twice the width of the root ball and deep enough so that the top of the root ball was about an inch or so above ground level. Once the height was right, I mixed a handful of Hollytone fertilizer into each hole. I'll also fertilize them in the spring and fall as well to help speed up their growth. You can find the link to the fertilizer I use in the description below. You'll want to double check that the trunk of each tree is lined up with your markers to make sure that you'll end up with straight rows. To straighten each tree, I pack small handfuls of dirt under and around the root ball, getting up and down often to check if it was straight from the front and side. You only get to do this step once, so take your time to make sure that they are straight before you start filling around the rest of the hole. Once straight, I finish each tree by lightly pressing down the soil around it with my foot and then raking out the remaining dirt until the area was smooth. While I finish up the rest of these trees, don't forget to like this video if you've learned something, and let others know if you have any more helpful tips for arborvitaes in the comments below. After they were all planted, I ended the day watering the trees in. If you're watering by hand, make sure to go slow to give the water enough time to soak into the ground. If you're really serious about getting your trees the appropriate amount of water, I would recommend setting up some drip irrigation. I'll be posting a follow-up video on how to set up an easy drip irrigation system as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that video. I don't know about you, but I'm really happy with the way these trees turned out. Hopefully in a few years they'll be nice and full and I'll have a great natural privacy fence on the side of my yard. Well that'll do it for this project, so hopefully I'll see you all again on the next one.